Hi there, my name is Trolls, and in this video we're going to be taking a look and a listen at our new Ruler library, which is the third version in our Studio Vocal series. We started with Jennifer, who's this awesome classically trained singer. Then we did Laurie House, which was also in the Western realm, but um, really good at the Balkan style and like very strong kind of epic singing. And then Rula happened. Rula is a professional singer in Greece that Alejandro, our producer, found uh, over a year ago. And we recorded her rather extensively for this project. Um, in fact, it's the deepest of all our solo vocal libraries when it comes to the amount of samples in it and the capacity it can do. It's sort of a new generation of vocal libraries, even though we can always use those weird marketing words for it. But um, we have seven different types of true legato in the library. We have our normal ooh-ah stuff that you're used to. Um, but we also have our free legato, that's something we introduced with Laurie, um, that allows you to, every time we play a new um, key on the keyboard in legato fashion, um, there's going to be a new vowel, so it feels more like natural singing. And we recorded hundreds of different phrases on top of that, that are both tempo synced and in specific keys, so it's a lot easier to lock the legato and sustain together with the phrases if you want to do more advanced uh, writing with the libraries, so constant learning, and, you know, improving the logic of these libraries and how they play and how they feel in the keys. And Rula is special because she truly ventures between Western singing and more ethnic or Balkan or Middle Eastern inspired singing styles. In this library, you can really go in both directions. You can play it more classically in sort of our normal Bach CFG chord progression world, or you can push it into the more Middle Eastern Balkan Greek singing um, styles. And um, we should get into it so you can listen to it and not listen to me talk too much, but um, I think it's a super cool library because it allows you to both have a sort of cinematic direction, a little more like Death Can Dance kind of vibe, um, but you can also do more for like classic epic music if you want to take that style, or if you want to go more emotional and do more gentle pieces, it also allows for that. So it's a really versatile library and with a really, really good singer that has a lot of personality. So um, I'm super delighted to show you here on my doll and um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. All right, so we are in the DAW. If you look over here, um, you're going to see the user interface for Rula. And um, I'm going to start out with the legatos. We have seven different types of legatos. We also have a sequencer built into the UI that allows you to sequence dynamics. It's actually super cool if you want to do sort of Johan Johansson arrival kind of weird vocal textures. It's quite useful. I'll show that later in the video. Um, we have our new effects section that allows for X and Y. Um, type of effects and you can set them up here and there's actually a lot of different effects you can put together at the same time so you can have four consecutive effects and that's on top of our new chaos effects four zero as well and then over here we have modulation sources where you can uh, play more around with the sounds but uh, let's get into it with the legatos right now um, i'm going to start with our free legato here which is um, a more improvised type of legato, something we introduced with uh, Larry House as well. So every time you play an overlapping note in the keyboard, there's going to be a new vowel. So she's never going to sing the same thing. So it's not your traditional ooh, ah kind of thing. It's actually a legato that's constantly singing and being a little bit unpredictable in its behavior, but um, perhaps a little more realistic at times as well. And it's totally flexible. Um, if you look down here on the keyboard, um, I'm just gonna play something live right now. You can see it's really, really alive when you're singing and it's awesome to combine a little more with the ooh, ah, and our elaborate set of phrases as well. Um, just another tool in the toolbox to get a little bit closer to uh, photorealistic or audio realistic um, vocals. Let's try another type of legato. So we just looked at the free one over here. If you notice over here, it says ah, Morton to third minor. This is also a legato patch, but she does an ethnic phrasing when she comes into the sustain. So instead of just keeping the sustain at a normal note, you're going to get a little more phrasing in it. And this is a good example of where the library sort of divides both into an ethnic category, sort of world music, and it also has the classic ah, oh, and Ari ah, and all that stuff that we're used to from traditional libraries. But in order to capture that real ethnic spirit, you need to push the phrases a little bit also in legato.
Let me try another um, of the ethnic legato phrasing as well. This is a who knew kind of deal. Um, this doesn't go up a note, but it does make, she has a little bit of an ornament and uh, once you go into the sustain, just another way of doing what you can call an ethnic phrasing, if you will. I'm not so big on that word actually, it's more, maybe more world phrasing, um, advanced phrasing, but not your static. Uh -huh. And on the flip side of those more advanced type of phrases, we also have our traditional ah and u type of phrasing. Um, she had such a beautiful airy voice when she went soft on the ah. So check this one out here, our ah airy legato. Also a good trick with legatos is to use your mod wheel. Um, if you notice down here when I play right now, you're gonna see that I'm moving it up as I sort of sculpt through the dynamics. It's a cool way of shaping the music a little more, so it's not just playing static legatos, but use the mod wheel to sculpt the dynamics volume-wise so they fit a little better in the composition and the movement of your music. One of the sweet features about this particular legato setup here is that you have access to all seven articulations in real time, but you can also blend them in real time, not like with having any spaces in between. You can actually go straight from one legato into another one. Let me show how it works. Try to keep an eye here uh, on the UI and see how I'm switching between the different articulations in real time. So in this case, I was switching from the free articulation where she's constantly changing vowels, going straight into ah, um, with a little bit of an um, ethnic ornament on top of it. And this is a good example just to show you how freely you can move between these things. So you're not locked to one type of legato like you would normally be. You can actually completely mangle and mingle, mix these things together in any way that you want. Um, let me show you another example of um, how that can also work. So uh, let me try a, a similar phrase here, but a little bit of variance to it. Uh, So in that example, moving between three different legato articulations in real time and using this sort of more monophonic pitch-wise, if that you can say that monophonic pitch-wise, and using this middle articulation here as a segue between the two different free ones. But there's a lot more in the ruler library than just um, our seven legatos. We also have this patch here that contains 12 different syllables, and these would be one syllable, so it's just singular words. Um, we also have another one down here that I'll demonstrate that have two word syllables. And these are additional tools to construct sentences, or if you want to get into that sort of more vocal production and create new vocal textures that are live, you can start mixing syllables in real time. Um, we're going to get into that. Let me show how it works. So just singular syllables. You can also play them in chords, of course, if you want to create more elaborate structures. And uh, let's also listen to our two syllables. So the syllables are additional tools in your toolbox to add more to your phrasing. Obviously these are all somewhat in the same pitch, even though you will find those ethnic phrasings in some of the words, um, but we're still in this sort of Western territory. Um, if you want to push that a little bit further, I highly recommend looking into our phrases as well. We actually have two different um, type of patches for phrases. Um, each of these one contains many, many phrases, um, I think up to 50, 60 phrases per bank here. Um, and we also have them tempo synced. 
And the cool thing about these phrases, unlike our older vocal libraries, is that we figured out how to record everything in specific tempos and specific keys. So the phrases sit a lot better in your mix. You don't have to mangle as much as you used to with offset and cutting, pasting samples around and all that. These are more structured, if you will. So seven legatos, one, two syllables, and then all the phrases on top of that. And then we get into sustains and sustains with ornaments as well, which is a new category as well. But um, let's start here with the phrases and uh, listen to a couple of them. Uh, well, you'll notice this first one here says D minor third, 100 BPM. <laughs> And those are the type of phrases that you need phrase samples for. You simply just cannot play that unless you had quarter notes and really knew how to do it. Um, she's a fantastic singer. Um, but the cool thing about the phrases here is that you have a lot of them and there's a lot of control you can do by partially using all the tools here, but partially just using the logic of how all these different patches are designed to work together as well. Uh, let me trigger a couple more of the phrases here. Okay, so that's phrases for you. Um, let's move down here to the sustains as well and uh, listen to the traditional sustains. We have two different types of sustains. We have normal sustains and then we have sustains with ornamentation as well. And it's a rather beefy category, but uh, let's start with the traditional and tried <laughs> sustain notes that we've heard a million times before. Let's also take a look here at the sustains with ornaments. So um, let me just play them actually. I, there's no reason really to explain. Um, they sound better than I can possibly explain them anyway. So these are traditional sustain samples, but each with different ornaments. Uh, let me just play a quick tricord here with three different ones. So these are phrases that are very much alive and you combine them with the legatos, the syllables, the normal phrases, and then this sustained ornamentation, you really, really have a lot of tools in the toolbox to make exactly the phrasing you need um, that will sound completely realistic. Um, one of the things we take great joy in when we create these libraries is that we want them to be realistic. We want you to be able to not really hear that it's not a real person singing. I mean, it was a real person singing when we sample it, but when you make your mock-ups, you can make it completely realistic if you want. And that's why we have the combination of tools that we do. Sure, there might be things that you cannot do, but we've captured an enormous amount of range in terms of her vocal abilities and all the different phrasings, both from ethnic to the sort of more Western nature. So it's pretty versatile. And then it's also just fun to play. Uh, let me just um, trigger a few more phrases here because these are it's just a joy, actually. They, they work and because they're alive. Um, something we don't talk about a lot in samples normally, and I should probably do a long talk about it, but um, if there's no life in the samples, there'll be no life in your music. So when you sit with samples often, you go like, hmm, I'm not really feeling the strings. I'm not really feeling the brass, the swells. Like if you ask yourself, why do we record all these arcs? We have the vastest catalog of arcs in the world. It's because they're dynamic. They move like the music really does. Um, sometimes you can mod wheel yourself out of that. And with future technologies, that's definitely going to be better and better and improving. But at this point, we need both sort of approaches, traditional samples, mod wheel, dynamics, all that stuff. But we also need phrases, for example, here um, that are more elaborate and allows you to express 
uh, more advanced type of things. So we're not always just ooh, ooh, ooh or ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, long ramble about phrases and samples. But let's listen um, a little more here to the sustains with ornaments. Ah. We also have a couple, um, handful of presets that demonstrate how you can utilize the different options here, whether it's sequencing or the additional effects on modulation sources in different ways. Uh, let me show you a couple here. This first one here is more on the sort of ambient side of things. And here's another one um, that's utilizing um, a gate function on the mod wheel. Um, so you can essentially um, set these different effects in here um, and modulation sources and chaos effects here to different types of controls as well. So in this case, we're controlling the steps here or the gates um, on the mod wheel. something that sounds like Arrival. One last feature um, I want to show you is also um, this is sort of an articulation builder. You've seen it before from the one syllables, but you can actually use the stack function here and start putting different things together while you're sequencing them. So in this case here, um, I'm going to be triggering the sequencer here while I'm adding and stacking more vowels on top of each other. So this is just one technique of generating more sort of arrival again, of like textures with vocal stuff moving around and constant variation in the sound, make it more lively and beautiful. Sometimes it's cool just to let the samples carry away. Um, find your favorite patch in the world, add a big verb to it, and just let your mind go into the music. Um, we tried to do that with samples, and hopefully this little video has shown you um, a little bit of what you can do with this massive library. Uh, again, all the tools are there to mangle it in any possible way you want. Um, and there's just so much material that is compatible with each other as well. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed this journey. This is um, ATO Studio Vocal Series Rula, and there's a lot more to come. Thank you for watching.